Hi guys, welcome back. So Eric and I got these boards all cleaned up. I've got them sanded down. And now we're going to use a product that Total Boat sent us. And I'm really excited to try this. Several reasons why. It's a wood sealer. Um, you brush it on and give it like an hour or a couple of hours to dry. And then you can reapply it. You apply two to three coats before you put any other kind of varnish on your uh, your board. Um, one thing I read on this this morning was that when after you use the wood sealer, you don't want to use epoxy on it from it, from the way I understand it. It's not to coat or seal for epoxy. So this is just for finishing with varnish. Um, so anyway, Eric and I, we each are going to do our boards. Um, so that's so that's how that differs. From the, from the penetrating uh, epoxy. The penetrating epoxy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's and it's, enough. when you brush it on, you don't have to sand between coats. It's kind of like self levels and self seals. And it seals all the pores and the boards and the cracks and everything. It's supposed to keep it from doing any more checking or anything like that. So, Eric and I are each going to do his, our boards. This is Eric's board. <laughs> okay. I gave you the one with the hard thing, and this is my board. So we're just going to right now start, and we're going to just brush this on uh, our first coat, and we'll see what happens. So okay, come on over, baby doll. All right. This stuff really smells bad. If you're not outside or you don't have a well-ventilated uh, room, right, make yes. sure you put this uh, your face protection and eye protection on with this. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty uh, toxic. High VOCs. Yeah, so very high VOCs. Okay. So, so you just kind of Just slop it on. It on. Okay. Oh, by the way, we didn't say, guys, um, Total Boat is one of our sponsors, so if you guys want any Total Boat products, right now I'll put across the screen 15% uh, off if you go to their website. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see how this stuff is... Uh, it's going to work out. Yeah, it's definitely strong. You don't want to be yeah, in a actually, warm room. It kind it. of reminds Silly. me of uh, Varathane in the old days, when I used to, uh, although it's much thinner. On the In the old days, I used to put uh, brush coat Varathane. Dad and I both did brush coat Varathane on, and this is what it smelled and like. This, you, the cleanup on this is thinner. You use thinner or something else I didn't recognize. Mineral spirits probably? No, it wasn't mineral spirits. They had an X in it. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. There's a bunch of different, different stuff. So, solvents. yeah. So, this is going to be interesting. So, I'm going to move around and do that front edge so they can see the... Ooh, it's the splatters. Oh, you're hogging the can. Sorry. Stop of that. Sorry. We're not supposed to be racing, you know. I'm not. I'm just not. <laughs> Check it. Make sure you know that. Oh. Ah, now I can see that redwood grain come out. I really want to get this down in that crack too. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I splatter you? Yeah. I, I was sorry. I already splattered myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys and girls. Well, you can see what we're doing here. I think we can. Uh, so we're gonna we put we're gonna put like two or three coats on this, and then we'll come back and we'll start on the next part. And it, you said that it was like an hour between coats? Like an hour between coats, hour, couple, well, two hours, you know, just kind of go do other things and then come back and do it again. And it also says that you don't want to do this if you are in 90% humidity. If there's 90% humidity, you don't want to use this. If it's, uh, it said um, under 50 degrees, don't use it. If it's over 90 degrees, you not recommend it. So, we're you kind of want to watch your yeah. temperature. Yeah, we're close to that today, but it's I don't think it's 90 degrees yeah, yet. Yeah, it's kind of mild. Yeah. So, anyway, folks, we will see you when this is done, and we'll go on to the next part. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So, um, unfortunately, we lost a whole scene that we thought we were recording, and we weren't. Obviously, we're so immersed in what we're doing 
that we just weren't paying attention. Well, we, we are recording now. In front of the camera and we are recording now. So here's what I've done. We've done two different things here. Vicky went the traditional uh, pouring resin with a green tint uh, and has it up vertical. What I decided to do was mix mix resin with sawdust, but then I put a uh, this is empty, so I can touch it. Put a red powder uh, pigment in it. Sawdust you can show? Yeah, oh yeah, this is what I made. So I made a, a sawdust pigment mixture, made it um, kind of a reddish color. I wish it was a little more red, but I ran out of red. And then I just shoved it down. I made it thick, like, which it's thicker now. And because um, it's, it's curing very fast now. And I shoved it down into all of the all of the cracks, and um, we're gonna see so, how it looks. So just to be clear, you you colored the uh, sawdust, and then you put the resin in it, right? Correct, that's what this is, is is the regular sawdust, which uh, I can't really, well, this is just a sawdust, uh, sawdust off of the planer that I sifted, and then I added uh, powdered pigment to it, and then I put resin in and made kind of a paste looking compound. So it's kind of like what I did on my big sign, my big shop sign, but um, I added pigment to it. Now it's thickening up pretty good. So what we're going to do is we are going to, um, after this all dries, Vicky's got more pouring to do because she's got, she only poured one crack here and she's got three or four big cracks, but she has to tilt it because it's just resin and the gravity will shove it down into the fissure there and so she has to set it up different but she's going to do that off camera and then when we come back we'll do some sanding and we'll see what these things look like so hang with us and we will be back oh by the way before I forget let me pull my glove off real quick we're using total boat tabletop and uh, this is one to one and we mixed I think three ounces and three ounces and uh, that's what, and then we kind of split that up. And, and we had extra, so I have a little. Yeah, there's a little. Uh, mold, I don't know, a little square mold thing. That's fine. Here, little cup thing. Anyway, I'll just put that on there. Okay, so when we come back, we'll do some sanding. We'll see what the stuff, what these look like. Mine is a little different than Vicky's, and we'll take a look and see what it looks like. So hang with us. We'll be right back. Hey guys, all right, so we're moving on. So Vicki has done sanded all of hers. I have sanded the surface on both sides, uh, just rough sanded with my 60 grit, and I'm really liking what I'm seeing so far. And so what I've done is I've done the edge here with my 60 uh, and my disc sander. So now I want to show you, um, I started doing this with the 80 grit on my uh, random orbital, but it just wasn't taking it down very well. And so what I want to do is uh, I did that with the 60 and the disc sander, and that's what I'm going to do now. Hopefully we'll be able to get that on camera and I'll show you that uh, even though this is um, a flat surface, you can follow that contour. This thing really saves, uh, used to save the belts, but it, now it, it really saves these discs too. These discs are awesome, by the way. These are our cling spore discs. So that, uh, that's what I did for my rough. Now I've got a, um, an 80 on here with a random orbital. Now I can go back and smooth that down.
Yeah, I like that. So what I'm going to do, let me bring Vicky's, uh, Vicky's slab over, and I'll show you what that looks like. I really like this, that red that I put in there, though. Um, it kind of re almost reminds me of that uh, flame box elder that, uh, that I used on a different sign a while back. But I, really, I think I'm going to really like that red. So that's what Vicky's looks like. Uh, how much have you sanded yours down? Have you sanded it uh, smooth or just the rough? Smooth. I used a, a 120 on it. Okay, so Vicky's got hers down. She's got her nice green resin in in the uh, in the cracks there. Looks really really nice. That's gonna look great with a finish on it. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna finish sanding up mine off camera, guys. Vicky's got hers ready to go. Then when we come back, we're gonna put a finish on these things so we can uh, see what that grain and that resin looks like. I'm excited to see what that, uh, how that comes out. So we'll be right back. Okay, go right ahead. Ready? Yeah, <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Hey guys, so. We got our boards, our shelves sanded, filled with some resin. Eric did his process, I did mine. And now we are going to do our finish. And um, we're gonna try this Total Boat Gleam uh, Marine Spar Varnish. Yeah, gloss. So again, Eric is gonna do one process and I'm gonna do mine. But we both have to start out with the, the gloss. And so what we did was we, well, not we, you, printed out the uh, the deal. Now we have, uh, we've got Gleam and we've got Lust, and we're trying to figure out the difference between the two. But if you print out the um, the paper, that will help a lot. I'm going to be putting all gloss on mine, but Vicky really wants a satin or a matte finish. A but satin. A satin. But according to what we've been told, she needs to put on a, a coat of gloss first and then put on the satin. Yes. But I don't know why I'm talking. I could be doing this and brushing at the same time. You do. You talk. I'll brush. Well, I'm, you're not going to brush right. without me. <laughs> So this is a totally new process. We've never done this oh, one before. Oh no, it's brand new. Oh, it's just really soaking in. Um, the other thing is that we are inside doing this. Normally this would be an outside thing, but it's about 105 outside. At least. And it's, I think it said like 90, try and keep it 90 or under for this. Isn't that kind of what yeah. it said? So the one thing too about this gloss is you can recoat it after an hour, or excuse me, this varnish. You can recoat it after an hour um, of dry time. So I like that. So this is, we probably should open up the door. Yeah. We won't be in here that long. So again, we had the, uh, we did the, um, what was that, uh, the yeah, first one we did, the first coat? Oh, we did like a um, sealer, right? Sealer, a wood yeah. sealer. A wood sealer. Which I think we just sanded it all off. Or, well, all, we sanded off the surface, obviously. But I, so I don't really know whether that did us any good. I would like to think that it went down into the grain and, and helped. looking pretty good yeah, so this this oh I'm sorry go no, ahead that's all right I think we did sand it down because back here where I didn't sand it's going on much smoother see I sanded mine you back did? back there yeah because uh, mostly because I had um, I had some of my resin that made lumps and stuff on the back side, and I wanted it to fit smooth against the wall. So I didn't sand it a lot, but I did sand it. So I don't know. I'm, Sorry, I'm actually 
Oh, you tipped yours. I didn't think about tipping mine. Well, I've always been a little bit more tipsy <laughs> than you. <laughs> Ooh, I really like this red. I wasn't sure that I was going to like it. It looked more raspberry when I was putting it on, but now it, uh, it looks pretty red, and I like it. So we are going to keep doing what we're doing, guys, and then we will come back and... Um, Did you do the back side too that way then? I'm going to do both sides. I just figured I'd do one side and then flip it over and do the other side. All right. Well, you're going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah, you're copycat. I have to come around here now. All right, guys, so we will finish this up and then we will be back after this dries. Here we go. We are back. So we have both actually got two, two coats of the Gleam Gloss. Now, what uh, based on the paperwork, what we found the biggest difference between these two, Vicki wants a matte or a satin finish. So I'm using the Lust, sat, Lust Matte. Matte finish. Matte. And what it said that we got some tips that said to put two coats of gloss underneath and then put your mat or your satin on top of that. I'm going with all gloss, so I'm going to stay with the same product, the Gleam Gloss, and I'm just going to put as many coats as I can get on here for what's left in the can. So the difference then is that yours needs to be, should be your can be sanded in between coats. Right. And mine does not need to be sanded between coats. And mine also can be recoated after it dries for about an hour. Right, so recoated uh, after about an hour. hour. And I think mine is a little bit more than that. So um, we normally let it sit overnight anyway. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, all right. I'm ready. Here we go. So let me get that out of the way. So let's lay these down. And we'll set this right here for now. I'm going to do the bottom side and then I'm going to turn it over and I'll leave it up to do the rest of it. Okay, here we go. All right. I'm excited. So fortunately, it um, it starting to build up at least on mine and I know Vicky's is too. I think her last coat of this uh, gleam she put on a little heavier than mine because mine didn't build up quite as much. It wasn't as shiny. It wasn't quite as shiny. But she doesn't want shiny. I want I the shiny. shiny. Anyway, so. Well, I, would, I did this totally opposite of what I said I was going to do. <laughs> I was going to do this first and then go for the bottom. Turn it up on its side. So here's the thing, guys. Uh, I thought that we were only going to do two videos on this. Oh, by the way, I used 220. I just hand sanded it 220 before this coat here. We were. Well, I thought this was only going to be two videos, but uh, we're kind of running out of time and we're running long. So we're going to go ahead and just keep coating these things over the next day or two, and then. We're going to move on to another video, which you guys will see the next time we post a video, <laughs> I think. And then uh, on the next video will definitely be the end. And then we're going we're gonna to install them on the front porch, uh, doing something that we've never done on camera before. So uh, I thought that would be kind of valuable for you guys too. So. You guys can kind of see what's going on here. I'm going to move that. So that is it, guys. I'm going to shut it down right there. Right after I get all this on here. Any last comments, babe? No, I'm just anxious to get these done and get them up on the wall. Yeah, we've got, we've got so many projects kind of lined up. I, you know, three or four different projects lined up. So we need to get these knocked out, get them installed, and move on to uh, some new projects that we've got coming up. So, anyway, guys, that is it. I don't know. It looks like you got the camera pointed at my belly. <laughs> I'm going to.
bend down a little bit here. Anyway, that's it guys. We're gonna keep doing what we're doing. We will see you on the next video. If you have any questions, obviously let us know. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you to Total Boat for um, sending us these great products to try. We're excited about uh, seeing the finished product. Hope you guys are too. And I will put across the screen right now the um, the discount code if you go to totalboat.com to get uh, to get a discount. So anyway, that is it. Thanks guys. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. We love you. Bye.